always wins. What is up, guys? Give me the video game scientist with VG Bootcamp here. Ice climbers ledge trapping in Ultimate is broken. <laughs> Now, before I get into this, make sure and follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Gimmer. I really want to start streaming on Twitch, my lab sessions. I have like a lot of really cool ideas to make this kind of content new, interesting, and fresh. Um, you know, me making my videos and stuff, something I don't think has ever been seen on Twitch, but I only have like... 4,000 followers. Uh, in order for it to be worth my time, I just need more. It's just, it's just, it's a matter of time. I don't have a lot of it. So once I hit 20,000 followers on Twitch, I'll start streaming there. So make sure and go over there, twitch.tv slash gamer. Check it out. In Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, being on the ledge is a terrible position. After being on the ledge for 19 frames, you have the ability to choose from five options. Let go of ledge, regular get up, ledge attack, ledge jump, and ledge roll. All of these options are punishable, some on reaction, others based on a read. The one thing that makes being on the ledge bearable is the fact that you can just sit there with your invincibility still intact and mix up the timing of choosing from one of those five options. But if someone grabs a ledge right after you grab it, you will get trumped. This is a 27 frame animation that you can get hit out of. The only way not to get trumped if someone grabs a ledge is to buffer one of those five options I mentioned earlier. But this takes away that mix-up I mentioned and causes you to get into a ledge trap situation. Because Ice Climbers are two characters, you can have one of them grab the ledge and the other force a ledge trap and then cover as many of their options as possible. There are a million different options Ice Climbers have, but today we're gonna focus on the big D setup. I spent about 20 hours labbing this, going through like a bajillion different versions, and this is the best I could come up with. I call this the big D ledge trap setup because he's the one that's been innovating it the most in the tournament scene. To do the big D setup, it's pretty simple. You just face the ledge, jump towards it, and then fast fall at the right time. If you do it correctly, Popo will land in front of the ledge and Nana will grab the ledge, setting up for the trump. This setup is strong for a couple of reasons. One, this makes Popo the character you're controlling on stage, which is overall better since he doesn't have any weird rules. Nana has gravity, if she goes out of your range you can't control her anymore, etc. Two, you don't have to go for the ledge trump. You can jump at them and then do a back air and scare them. It's a really really good mix up that is never required, like it's not obvious you're going for it like most other ledge trump setups. Three, because you're jumping to get to it, you can avoid up B hitboxes. A lot of ledge trump setups from other characters don't work against a lot of the cast because they can up B, hold down, and put a hitbox right above the ledge, and it doesn't even work. With this one, you don't have to worry about that. Lastly, with this specific setup, you're waiting for the end of their ledge grab animation to end to input any actions. Because of this, timing it and reacting to the opponent's up B is super super easy it's like it's something every ice climber player should be doing big d's ledge trap setup is famously followed up with the forward smash we're going to take it to the next level though with two different options the first one is the forward smash squall hammer setup and this is how you do it do the big d trump react to your opponent grabbing the ledge don't predict it react to it time a forward smash right when their ledge grab animation ends so between frames 21 and 23 input that forward smash. Then buffer a ledge jump with Nana into Squall Hammer, pushing into the stage. After that, move the control stick down and away from Popo that when the forward smash animation ends, he's crouching, but because you're holding down and away, it's still pushing Nana's Squall Hammer center stage. If the opponent gets trumped, they will get forward smash no matter how they DI the trump. Now, there might be some character that ledge trump animation is so weird that the forward smash whiffs, but I'm fairly confident it will hit 99% of the cast. If they do ledge jump, they will also get hit by the forward smash because the timing is the same. This next part's funny. If they buffer a ledge attack, the forward smash 
puts Popo in the air. So for most of the cast, the getup attack will whiff Popo. And then the squall hammer will go over top of them and pop them in front of Popo. And because you have enough time to react to them doing a getup attack, you can just forward smash them again after your first forward smash whips. Ice Climber Discord definitely needs to look into this and see which characters get up attacks are so weird that they will hit you even though you're really high in the air. If they do regular get up from the ledge, things are a little weird. Whether the Nana Squall Hammer hits before they can shield is dependent on when you do the trump in the first place. If Nana's Squall Hammer is fresh, if they try to spot dodge or roll out of it while it's on their shield, they'll be knocked into Popo's grab anyways. Ledge roll is the only way the opponent can escape this version of the setup. That being said, they will not be in a great position, so they'll have to run center stage. They cannot punish you for doing this because the Squall Hammer will be coming in their face. We have another version that covers the ledge roll though. I call it the, the roll in trap. Basically, you do the exact same thing as before, but instead of going for the forward smash with Popo, you want to roll in. And then as soon as you roll in, let go of the control stick. This will make Nana buffer a ledge roll. And then you hold in towards the stage just early enough so you buffer a turnaround instead of a dash in. This way, if they roll in, you can grab them, Nana will roll in, and then you desync forward smash them back off the stage. If they do a getup attack, you actually have enough time to grab them and do the same thing. Now this doesn't cover all those other options, but it puts you in a good position where if the opponent chooses those other options, they're not in the best spot. You've got center stage, their backs to the ledge, they're in a position they don't want to be in. Combined, the forward smash squall hammer trap and the roll in trap cover pretty much every option. Adding this to your kit will guarantee a lot more early kills because Ice Climber's forward smash is incredibly strong. It kills so damn early. There is counterplay to this and counterplay to that counterplay, but I'm not going to tell you about it because what's the point of showing new tech and progressing the metagame and then squashing it before it can even be shown in tournament? Ice Climber's Discord, I look forward to discussing this with you because there's a ton of stuff I didn't show in this video because I was trying to figure out a way to cover every single option, but I just couldn't do it. I want to see what you guys come up with with this. If you like the video, consider giving it a like. If you like my content, consider subscribing. And if you really, really like it, consider hitting that notification bell. Um, I've just recently learned through some videos I've watched that click-through rate's really important. And uh, there's two ways to get a good click-through rate on YouTube in order to grow your channel. One is to have notification turned on for a lot of your subscribers and two, clickbaity titles and clickbaity thumbnails. And I don't want to have to revert to the second, even though it can be fun sometimes. So, like I said before, if you like what I'm doing, I only upload one video a week at max. Turn on that notification bell. If not, that's cool too. All right, I gotta go. It's back to the lab with me. I'll see you guys next time.